All right, let's check out what's going on with Strong. So I haven't made an update on this in a few days as I have been getting over a virus, but it doesn't seem like too much has changed. I think we made a video on this three days ago. Uh, we outlined uh, this potential inverse head and shoulders, something like this to play out. Uh, we, we still are kind of cooling for a price target down here uh, between 77 and $70, mainly because we've got a 2.618 target down here of this Fib retracement. We do zoom out we've got a bunch of touch points down here at the 70 region and also we have uh, one two bear flags or one massive bearish pennant uh, that brings us all the way down to this price target from right here and you can also see if we zoom in we do have a smaller uh, bear flag target coming down to here so i still do believe that we are coming down to between 77 and 70 dollars now uh, I mean, like I've been saying, it doesn't necessarily have to play out exactly uh, like I'm like I'm calling with this inversion and shoulders. I would I have been saying that I will be buying a breakout if we do put in a bottoming signal. That now that could also be something like this, where we could literally turn around, you know, today or tomorrow. And as long as we break above this 190 region up here, we would have broken above the neckline of the rejection on this bear, uh, bearish flag. And uh, I think that could definitely be a nice bottoming signal in the short term for us to take a, you know, 48% trade, uh, perhaps even a, well, we'd have to move this over now because this has been quite a while, uh, approximately about 69% trade until we do crash into this descending resistance again. So uh, if we do zoom in, I do think the most likely scenario is not this W pattern, like I said, but you can also keep an eye out for that. As a potential scenario uh, i do think something like this is the most likely now it is getting a little bit uh wonky and taking its time but you know it, th this is uh still completely valid so i've got my eyes on this for strong um pr price target anywhere down here between 77 and 70 if we do come down this region and have a strong bounce that might be a half decent time to buy if we do come up to the top here of the neckline of this inverse head and shoulders in my opinion that would also be a good short time uh short term place to sell uh, before if we do come down to fulfill this last shoulder this would be similarly another time to buy and then you've obviously got uh, the most safe buying level which is what i'm personally looking for for this so i'm looking for a breakout of 190 like i said whether we do this inverse head and shoulders or whether we do just do something like this and we do have a massive explosion in the next coming days out of like a w pattern like this uh, either way will be fine for me uh, really i'm looking for a break above 190 until that happens i am still remaining bearish on strong uh, if we do zoom out again i mean you can just see that the volume is steadily increasing and all of the vol all of the volume right now is really selling volume uh, the rsi is completely flat and the money flow indicator is pretty flat as well and yeah i mean all in all it doesn't really look look uh, too good at all most of the crypto markets are absolutely booming bitcoin is exploding out of this uh previous resistance it's broken out of this w pattern it's going off to the races total crypto market cap broken macro bullish as well everything is really looking good i mean all of these cryptos you can see that i cover uh, it is far and few fetch to find a uh, crypto that is in the red recently and it does seem like uh, strong is one of these cryptos that just doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to come back to life so this is really your last line in the sand down here if we do start breaking below 77 and 70 then you know there's there's not really much else for us to go apart from you know 45 dollars and then zero so uh, if you were a big strong fan i would be you know i would be personally hoping that this 77 and 70 holds because there's there's literally nothing below here once we do break below this level we're falling into an abyss of hell and uh there's, there's basically no targets down here i can't give you any targets uh, there's no fib targets at all we've broken below every single macro trend so all in all strong is 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 very macro bearish and you know i i am saying that i do believe the bottom is going to be somewhere within this region whether it means that we're going to explode out of this w pattern in the next couple of days whether it means we need to come down to 70 first and then have an inverse head and shoulders out of it either way is fine for me i'm not going to try and catch the falling life on this one 
Um, you know, I've been making videos up here since it was basically 275, and I've been saying since 275, you know, I'm looking for a bottoming signal and I won't be buying until there is a bottoming signal. And, you know, so far we've, by just being conservative and waiting, let me make sure I'm getting this exact wick down here. Obviously we're not all the way down here now. If I take the wick from where we started trading this, where we said we were waiting for a bottoming signal, we came all the way down 60% and we're currently down 52%. So I mean, even if we do pump and come back up to 190 and we do buy, we will still be buying for a 30% discount. So that's what I'm looking for. Keep an eye on this inverse head and shoulders. This is all I've really got my eyes on right now. I think this is what's gonna be playing out in the next couple of weeks and the next month. Uh, but really your number one make it or break it level is if we are able to get above the 190 in the short term uh, if we're not able to get above 190 in the next couple of weeks or so uh, then we are probably 100 percent in my opinion coming down to 70 dollars and if we do lose 70 like i said we're probably going to get chopped in half again then and it's probably going to become very ugly in the short term so that is all i see for strong best of luck if you are holding this once again none of this is financial advice it's just my own opinion on the market You've always got to do what's best for you. Okay, way out. Peace.